everybody. Welcome again to another edition of TaylorMade Talk. I'm Chris Taylor, and today we're going to be talking directly to dog trainers. In the past, we have talked a lot to people who have questions about how to train their dogs or how to maintain their dogs or uh, how to keep their dogs. Today, we're going to talk to dog trainers um, about how to build their dog training professional business or about how to just to be a canine professional in general. Uh, I feel that uh, both sides um, carry a lot of relevance to them and I feel like I can really help people out with that because I've built several pieces of my business that have a lot to do with uh, being a canine professional up from the ground up and, uh, and I'd like to kind of share some of my experiences with you. How do you know as a trainer you have the skills to handle the needs of clientele out there? So I'm going to get back to the beginning. You should know by now I'm not answering questions so directly. For right off the rip, I'm going to give you a little backstory to them first, and then we'll get to the, the answer to the question. Um, your pathway is going to have a lot to do with your skill set and, and how you get to someplace. So there are a couple different ways. There's a lot of different ways, but there, there's a, a couple main ways that people become dog trainers. And um, neither one are better than the other, per se. Um, there's a path I went down and, and, I, and I think everybody should eventually go down too, um, but instead of going directly towards, but there's a couple different paths. Some people go to a dog training school. Um, we have one here um, as well and, and we help a lot of people become dog trainers and uh, do a lot of coaching for dog trainers and that's certainly a, a good way to go about it, to get formalized training and, and help. And so through that, you will build confidence and skills because of your hands-on experience that you're going to be getting um, in, in your school. Um, the other way, and the way I went about it, is I grew up in clubs and dog training uh, you know, uh, groups and things like that. And so I learned through other club members uh, techniques and skills and seminars and stuff that came along with those, uh, with those clubs, um, things that were relevant to them. Um, I think if you go down the club route, it's a longer route because things aren't so formal and you're going one or two times a week and people are all there to help each other out. Um, but I think you get to eventually go a lot deeper. And I don't require flat out from everybody at our dog training school, but I highly, highly recommend that everybody in our dog training schools go to clubs and learn about um, different forms and higher levels of training. And, uh, and that's just it. Where everything starts that comes down to pet dog training or whatever you may be into, you may say like, hey, I'm not into competition training. I just want to do pet dogs. That's fine. But where everything derives from that we learn about for pet dog training starts from competition trainers. It, it really does. It, it starts from a competition trainer trying to beat another competition trainer and gain like that half a point advantage. And so they're going to come up with a more creative, uh, more efficient, more effective, more ethical way to get the picture they want for training and it's going to come up with a technique that is then going to trickle down and it's going to go through the ranks of, of training and it's going to fall into pet dog trainers as well. And um, so I think that they have a lot of re relevance and while I started off in clubs and grew up in clubs and, and training groups, um, you know, there, like I said, there's a faster track way by going to a dog training school and learning those things more formally. Um, but uh, and, and there are some college course things that can assist you with it, but I think that they aren't directly relatable. But uh, but there's a couple different paths, and th but through those, both those paths, um, you're going to find confidence in solving those problems because you're going to be having hands-on experience. And um, if, you, if you're not taking that path and you're just trying to figure it out as you go, which is another path that people have gone down and do go down, uh, probably the most common path people go down is this: they like dogs a lot, and they slowly kind of learn as they go and they fake it till they make it. And, um, you know, faking it till you're making it, I mean, I get it, everybody at some point in their career is starting off, so everybody is starting off by, by kind of starting off by faking it a little bit, I think. Um, nobody's, nobody's starting off by being uh, uh, the best in the world. Um, so I, I, I'm sympathetic to that as well. Um, but the issue behind that is, is you are going to make a lot of mistakes and along the way and you can learn a lot along the way and build a lot along the way and build a lot of experience along the way that way um, but there's hard hard lessons that way as well and ultimately the, the the people who are suffering from those lessons are your clients and your clients dogs and uh and, and i don't really think that's a fair route to take so i always highly encourage people to go through 
you know, learn from either like a club or an obedience school or, or something of that sort first. And hopefully you have one that gives you a lot of hands-on experience. I know here, here at the TaylorMade School, um, we, uh, we put a lot of hands-on experience with our, with our trainers and, you know, they run our group classes uh, alongside of our other um, um, senior trainers and things like that as well. So I think uh, the hands-on experience is the way you're going to build your confidence in, in handling problems as they come up. So if you enjoyed what you saw today here on TaylorMade Talk, please hit the subscribe button. Um, follow us on social media at TaylorMade Working Dogs. Um, that's important too. Send us your comments and your questions. Please, if you like this video, like it, um, comment on it. If you have any questions or comments that you want to give us, um, you can also send us questions uh, on email, info at tmwdogs.com. And we'd love to hear from you and uh, keep them coming. Thanks.